Hi everybody, this is Holden Hassel with Equita Final Expense Services and Final Expense Mastery. Today, I want to talk about a, a pretty simple topic. It's just the transition to talk about life insurance or the transition to get into the, to the sales process, right? So how do you transition to talk about life insurance? So let's say you're talking about family that a client has, right? You're building rapport with them, you're talking about some family, and you have a story Remember, we did a little video on, on your story, what your insurance, why? Why do you sell insurance, right? When you talk about that, it makes it a very easy transition. So my grandmother had passed away, right? I've lost two grandmas in 2018, same year, and my best friend's father had passed away about a week or two after we had lost my grandmother, and it was just, my, my second grandmother was a horrible year. So you have to talk to your clients and just be real with them. Right? Just just be real with them. I mean, you're not there to always sell them something. You're always there to, to help protect their family. And in the interim, the byproduct of that is that, that we can have a healthy business. And that healthy business comes from protecting people. And there's nothing better than when you go to someone's home and you help file the claim with the insurance company. You help them get that, that death check. Right? You help them get the life insurance and file a claim. So it's a very powerful thing to do. So the transition is a very important thing. So what we want to do for the transition process is, let me just give you an example. I was in a client's house, um, and I was sitting down with the client. We were having a conversation, and he starts talking about his wife that had passed away, right? So we're just having a casual conversation. I kind of give him my story and everything along those lines, and he starts talking about his wife that passed away. They're married for 36 years. It's a long time. So he lost her. He loved her dearly. And ultimately, he knew that he had to get something in place because she had something through her job. She was in the medical field, he said, and she had something along those lines, and it paid, you know, paid him pretty well. But he didn't have anything in place at that point in time. I think that he had something, you know, in the past, but it lapsed or something along those lines, and he didn't really want to talk about that. So I didn't press the issue that much. So he just wanted just to get something now because he he knew it. People realize the value of insurance when someone else passes away, which makes it a very easy sales process, but it also makes it a very easy transition, right? So then after he's talking about his wife, at a certain point, all you gotta do is just say, so that's probably why you send this card in, isn't it? It is? Okay. And you know, like I said, my job's real simple. I just go over the programs and show you what you qualify for. I don't collect no money off all those lines, I just show you what you qualify for, that's my job is. And if something makes sense for you, we can just go from there. But let me just go through this and I'll, I'll show you the programs and just go on. I'll just, I'll give you the short version. So you just want to go ahead and be real with them, invoke emotion because this is an emotional sale. And once you do that, you'll have the ability to make an easy and smooth transition to talk about the life insurance because you've already invoked emotion. Now you need to establish value and show him why you're an expert and why he should get the insurance from you. So remember, he's going to buy insurance. It's a hundred percent chance he's going to buy insurance. But are you the person that he's going to buy insurance from? So use that tip and I'll make you some extra money and help you quite dramatically.